Greetings everyone, welcome aboard. Happy Tuesday to you guys. It's March 1st, 2011. We finished up the month of February yesterday. Had a wonderful day in the room yesterday. Finished up a great month of February. We're starting off nice clean slate this morning, March 1st, 2011. It's a Tuesday morning. Now, first day of the month, but the last month of the first quarter. Now, we talked about the concerns we have the month of March. Now, I don't want to I don't want to scare anybody right now, right? Because there's really no need to be worried about this, but we should be aware though that historically speaking, March is one of the more challenging months of the year. And there's a couple of reasons behind it. Now, in my opinion, I think the biggest reason why March is difficult is because the money managers are trying to pad their numbers, get them wrapped up for the first quarter because the first quarter numbers are used to right to recruit new accounts second third and fourth quarter so the biggest reason why March is challenging is because professional traders mostly the major money managers who we call the big money well the big money's out there trying to unwind positions they're trying to make their numbers look good by the end of this month January and February traders are making their month they're getting their trades placed so think about how traders would start unwinding positions. It's going to look a lot like a wacky Wednesday would, right? Unexpected volume at certain periods of time that you wouldn't re really be expecting, right? Unexpected volume. So it's the first day of March, but March is the last month of the first quarter. And I'm a March baby, so it can't be that bad, right? But at the same time, I know March is a challenging time of the year. So how do we trade March? We got to remember looking for consistent speed that's gonna be the rule for the month of March guys we wanna trade when we see consistent speed now we didn't see very much consistency this morning we had reason to believe that people were waiting for Ben Bernanke he was testifying live this morning at 10 o'clock now see usually we just get the you know kinda of the summary of what Bernanke's speech was about. So, but today was different today we had a live video camera right on TV looking at Ben Bernanke's ugly mug so here you go, right? We got Ben Bernanke speaking at 10 o'clock, and most of the traders were waiting for it. And again, the big difference was is that this morning at 10 o'clock, right? The testify, right? Ben, ben Bernanke testifying in front of Congress, right? It lasted hours. Usually, we see Bernanke's speech, right, summarized and then released, which means it's you know four or five minutes later, we've had the reaction and we can keep going. Today, though, construction spending. ISM manufacturing and Ben Bernanke speaking testifying at 10 o'clock this morning which meant we didn't get really anything in the pre-market 745 830 9 o'clock it wasn't until after 930 that we finally saw crude moving here now gold was still very slow all day today most likely because the dollar the dollar if you guys watch the dollar the dollar kept chopping around sideways didn't really get anywhere right didn't make new lows didn't make new highs we call that an inside day, right? The dollar was range bound inside the range from Monday. So Monday's highs and Monday's lows, the dollar couldn't break those highs or break those lows. So the dollar goes sideways and sluggish. That causes a very correlated market like gold to go sideways and sluggish. So we didn't get much out of gold today, nothing, no trades out of gold today. But we did have a wedge pattern on crude. Now it was interesting because wedge patterns if they're nice wide wedge patterns right we can use them but if they're narrow wedge patterns right now they become more difficult this was a very narrow wedge pattern and we had to break out of that narrow wedge pattern before we get a chance to buy right we bought the wave pattern we then brought it all the way up sold the highs and then came down and bought the lows it was funny though because what happened was we took a loss at 950 on the fast track we had we had two winning trades our third trade this morning the fast track was a loss missed it by one tick right and of course I gave you guys the exact entry the exact stop and the exact target this morning for the fast track entries right if you're a guest or a member doesn't matter if you're a guest or a member guys you could trade with me this morning right and you made some money this morning so we hit our daily goal on the fast track today but it was a great example of where our third trade of the morning was a loss missed the target by one tick so instead of hitting our daily goal, we then were right back to the beginning again. Well, we had to wait patiently over an hour and a half, and we finally were able to get that final trade on crude to hit our daily goal. It was a great example today of how sometimes price doesn't bounce your way. Right? We missed that target by one tick. But did that affect us? Yeah, we were disappointed, but we got right back on the horse. 
We took a trade for a winner at 10 o'clock, and then we had to wait until 11.30. We waited an hour and a half, guys, 90 minutes this morning, until just before the European close, we finally get a chance to buy at support on crude to finish up right, getting our goal today on the fast track. So, of course, again, like we do every day, I gave you the exact entry, start, right, the target, and the stop. All you had to do, whether you were a guest or a member, was to simply get in where I told you to, take your money, right, take your profit, and get out. Now, as a member, we're going to teach you why this all works, but as a guest, right, we're not going to make you worry about learning it as a guest. We're going to give you the entries and the exits and stops. That way, I'll prove to you this works every day in our live trade room. So guests come out. We'll make some money together as a guest. right? As a member, you know all this stuff. You've been training this stuff, and the members had a great day today as well. All right, let's see how we did today here. Two, four, five total trades in the fast track. Two, four, six total trades here on the advanced method. Now, so you guys know how it all works, right? It's actually really simple. All right, the fast track method get this up here for you guys the the fast track method right this is where I'm gonna give you guys the exact entry the exact stop and the exact target we had that one loss at 950 we jumped right back on it though got the money right back at 10 o'clock and then waited till 1127 got that final final trade there that made our 30 tick goal right my goal is is to get my guests 30 ticks a day if I could earn you as a guest 30 ticks a day you'll make $1,500 a week per contract as a guest. Then I know, after two weeks of your trial, you can now afford our advanced membership. Right? How is that for putting your money where your mouth is? I know it works. Our members know it works. Right? But as a guest, I'm going to prove this stuff works for you by giving the exact entry, stop, and target, just like we did today. As you can see here, guys, we did 32, I'm sorry, 155 ticks a year on the uh, advanced strategy. Our daily goal being a thousand bucks a day, and of course I used four contracts here on the advanced strategy, one contract here on the fast track. All right, guys. So you can see here that's how it all works out. So five trades on the fast track, four winners, one loss. That's thirty ticks of profit per contract. Daily goal on the advanced method was a thousand bucks. We exceeded that, one hundred and fifty-five ticks, fifteen fifty. Took one more trade. Notice we didn't take the nine thirty-five trade in the fast track. Right, 940 was the first fast track trade. 935, I didn't take that fast track because it happened really quickly and it was right into the highs. It would have been a winner, but it was pretty high risk for a fast track trade, so I decided to skip it. So 1550 for today, 300 for the fast track, and again I keep those separate because they are ultimately different ways of trading. And that brings our total now, monthly total 1550 on both, uh, and of course monthly total of the fast track is 300. We've made over 65,000 for the year so far, guys. Only two months into the year right now. We did 32,000 last month, or in January, 33,000 in February, and then started off March here with another big day in the room. We'll keep you guys posted here the rest of the month. Now, where do we begin our day each day? Each day we begin on the dollar. And you can see here we talked about the dollar being very tight and narrow. Follow me down bottom here. This is pretty much where the dollar was all morning today going sideways and of course if the dollar broke to the highs we're looking to sell right if the dollar broke new lows we're looking to be a buyer but that's not what happened this morning right we kept going sideways all morning here until late 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 in the morning when the dollar decided to finally jump up 